So what are you doing there? Why are you blocking the womb? Huh? Bring it, bring it. Look at me. Lift up your hands and look at me. The things will start to work from today. That's it. I release you. You are free, you can go. So what is it that you put in the stomach? Oh. Oh. To eat. Mm. 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 To eat everything that is comes to the tubes. To mm. eat it. To eat it. Mm. If it survives. The first time you see a wife like this. It survives. Huh? Mm. It can't go beyond mm. three, four, five. So you don't want her to have a child? No, 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 no. No. Hmm? no. Why? No. You don't want to, why? No. He should save our gods. He should save our gods. Mm. You must His not... father saved us. Why shouldn't he save us? 
He has refused. He has refused. Yes. With all his brothers, we have managed them. But he has refused. Mm. Mm. So that's why you're attacking. Yes. And that's why you don't want a boy. Because all the boys, they're supposed to be destroyed. Nothing should come out of them. Tell him to check. His nephews, his brothers, his uncles, they are all nothing. They belong to us. They belong to us. To us. So now remove your things. All your things. I can still see something on the stomach here. Remove this thing that doesn't want a baby to stay. Remove. The child must come. Amen. And now you can talk. Who are you? Mubanan. Mubandan. Talk. Randa. Mubanan. Chief priest. Chief priest, what would you? So, the, so remove everything you leave in the name of Jesus. Get out now. In Jesus' name. You are free. Rise up. What was happening to you? I don't know. You don't know. Sit down. Heavy. You're feeling heavy. Mm -hmm. Can you walk here? Mm -hmm. I have pain here. It's gone. The pains are gone. Eh? Mm -hmm. You are free today. Were you aware you have a demon? You are not. Eh? Uh, today you are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift him up. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name.
Ja, aber ich weiß nicht, ich kann es ja. Ich bin ja lieber, lieber, lieber. Ich bin ja lieber, lieber, lieber. Da kann man das Ding verlegen. Hello, how are you everybody? My name is uh, Lumia Shekaina Chiwezimba. Um, I'm coming all the way from Zambia. I'm here with my family. That's my husband, Kennedy Zimba, and my daughter here, Tikwiza Salem Zimba. We're all from Zambia. We came here to cherish Charis uh, Missionary Church. Uh, we came to know about Charish, um, uh, Charis Missionary Church through our daddy in the Lord, way back from home. Our pastor, Pastor Roderick Mompeni, um, he introduced us to this place. Reason being he has seen how far, because we've traveled so many places in search of our solution. Um, when we came here, we were well received. Uh, we're, we're very glad for the hospitality. Everybody here is nice. We feel at home. And um, the experience that we had here is uh, one of a kind. Um, it's, it's, it's so very different. Indeed, the one-on-one -on -one with the man of God is, is something that you cannot experience anywhere else where you will go. Um, when we came here, we had a privilege to meet with the son of our daddy here. Uh, Apostle Makananisa, we had a privilege first to see meet with the the son, uh, Prophet Andres, and then later on we met with our father one on one. Um, when we met with the men of God, whatever they spoke was hundred percent true. So when we first uh, met with Prophet Andres, he told us about the challenge that I had in my womb. He was seeing something and he was also seeing dead children. And I confirmed the prophecy to be 100% true because I have had 10 miscarriages. The little girl that you are seeing here is the only child that we've had. And uh, she came after the fifth pregnancy. I have really had a challenge in conceiving. And the man of God also told me about the challenge with my health, which was very 100% true. And um, he also spoke about... Um, our financial issues about working so hard but things are still difficult and then he also spoke into the life of my husband to say uh, he has a ministry but then when a man of God is speaking it's 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 like what he's speaking is not really there but it is there. So my husband said, no, I, I don't run a ministry. But he said, you are a man of God. You are called by God. And then he said, my father is going to finish uh, thereafter. And when a man of God prayed for me, uh, Prophet Andres, um, he also spoke about the type of business that we were doing. He said, you people are into business. And we confirmed that to be 100% true. And he um lamented on the type of things that we were doing and he also said he was seeing a clothing business mushrooming up and we received that in the name of jesus christ and he also spoke about the prominency of the food business to be upcoming and we thank god and we have received it and we're returning back with a testimony our experience with the man of god was so great when prophet andres prayed for my husband um there was a certain kind of experience of the power of God that he felt and that pushed him. My husband is not a person that really, you know, the falling type and the like, but he had a great experience to where he saw a great light that he saw in his eyes. And then from there, we had a privilege to meet with the man of God, um, Apostle Makananisa, one-on-one -on -one in the office. And immediately he saw my husband when we were entering the office. He said, uh, you are a man of God. 
you know that then he said no i'm not a man of god then he said you are a pastor you are called by god and god has called you to be a teacher and uh, he also spoke about the problem of my womb and he went into detail to say there was an evil plantation that was planted somewhere into my tube this evil plantation was that whenever i would conceive anything that would come into my womb would have to be eaten up it was just an evil plantation and he said he was going to pray for me and i'm going to be set free and then he said i'm seeing a baby boy and this baby boy is going to be called joseph and when joseph comes that is the end of your struggles because joseph is going to be a great leader and he is going to take after the father and is going to supersede the father and um, when he spoke about this joseph he said everything else that you are looking for the strength in your body the weakness that is in your body immediately joseph comes all this is going to go away the 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 business that the business breakthrough let us wait for this joseph to come and he gave a specific time which is six months from now and he said he gave us an instruction to say when this baby comes we must return with this baby for the man of god to pray for him i believe my husband can lament on certain things that i have left out and i also want to speak about our daughter we also had um a question for the man of God. We were not sure whether we could go and relocate to America. That was supposed to be in August. Then the man of God said, uh, you are not destined for that place, but you are destined to be where you are. And when Joseph comes, that is when you're going to see what God has in stock for you. And uh, before he could answer that question, he said, you want to go and give birth in another person's land no it cannot happen so i believe the question that we had for him was already answered by that first um uh, phrase we also brought our daughter here because um she was born an intelligent child but all of a sudden she has her grades have gone down she has been showing some signs of stubbornness sometimes um, a lot of disobedience and uh, we were privileged because the man of God began to speak to her in a way that was explaining her character. He began to advise her about friends, about the phone, about uh, being respectful. And all those were just in line and in place of what um, we were experiencing with her. So we believe that um, when, where God reveals, there's a solution. And then he also spoke to us as a parent, as parents, because we we little did know that my husband is is a man of is called by God to be a man of God. Then he said, "When you are a pastor, if the enemy cannot get to you, he will come through your children. Mostly, men of God are attacked through their children, so that when he attacks the child." Uh, he attacks you. And then he said, this kind of specific attack the enemy has on our daughter is that when we get upset, our finances get uh, affected and um, the relationship, the peace in the house also gets affected. So that is the route that the enemy was trying to use to get to us. I believe my husband can lament on certain things that the man of God has spoken that will come after Joseph. <laughs> well, my name is Kennedy Zimba. I come from Zambia, just like my wife has uh, mentioned earlier. And this is my daughter on the middle here. Well, we had a privilege to, to, to speak to men of God here. As we came, they received us well. We had a very good time here. They are good people. And I would encourage many of you that are out there in di different diasporas to come through to this place. God is here. Uh, surely God is speaking through these men of God. Uh, I had an encounter I was prayed for by Prophet Andres on uh, Saturday before we met uh, Apostle Makananisa.
so he mentioned to he mentioned a few things concerning my wife of which i believe she has explained herself and uh, when he came to me he said you are a man of god so i said uh, no i'm not a man of god i'm just serving under my pastor back home and emphasized to say there's a ministry ahead of you so i didn't want to say much according to him said my father tomorrow is going to finish everything and he asked me one question to say do you need a son and i say for sure i've been longing to have a son he said a son is coming he prayed for me when he prayed for me the way i felt i've never felt that way before i've gone to different places they've prayed for me but that experience was one of its kind that i had here in uh, charis ministry so the next uh, ne- next day sunday we had op- an opportunity to meet the man of god himself apostle makananisa of which the moment he saw us he started with me we were about 20 visitors he started with me he spoke to me he said you are a man of god and i said wow Uh, I, i'm not a pastor he emphasized to say he repeated to say you are a man of god you are called by god so how he explained and he also said uh, the challenges that my wife is facing concerning the fruit of the womb and uh, he, he exactly located where the problem is coming from and uh, he had a chance he, we had a chance to be prayed for my wife was prayed for at that very moment and then when he get back to he got back to me he said you'll have a son the solution to your problems are in your son the moment your son comes everything will change and he told me to write that date write this date and i'm telling you the name that you shall give your son is joseph not any other name give him joseph you are a leader and your child will be greater than yourself so when your your child is born i should bring your child to this ministry to be to be blessed and uh, over all the experience that we had concerning also my family my brothers and exactly whatever my wife manifested about my family very true i confirm it to be very true all my brothers they they've been to school they have amounted to nothing others have died and i believe i'm the only one that has been standing and uh, these ancestral powers they've been fighting me also to finish me up but i believe because i've been hiding in the lord that's where i've been finding my shed and here where i've come this was my last stop and i i believe i found my solution to this ministry i thank you jesus and i will encourage everyone across the to come to this ministry god is here amen thank you y- yes uh, one more thing when when i was prayed for i saw i saw the the red light on my face that i've never seen and the next thing i saw was i, I was on the ground that's the next thing i could feel up upon my body i was on the ground so the experience that i had was this great awesome that i've never had anywhere that i've gone to be prayed for and um, you also mentioned to say the sooner your son comes joseph you have a lot of properties i'm seeing a lot of properties god is going to elevate you that no man can believe the the extent of your blessing that god is going to bring upon your life yeah he just spoke a lot of things concerning myself and i i believe i believe my family is liberated uh, uh i i choose to serve god from now onwards my trust is upon the word of god he has encouraged me to read the word of god so much and it's from there that i shall see my my victory is only in the word of god thank you uh children of god across uh, nations and especially those from from zambia i would encourage you to come to this ministry because the god that is here is, is a bigger god is a bigger god bonse abakwete ama problems i up sana sana mwaisa twaliyo kumanchende kwa sana sana but mwesho ukisha pali nonchende 
took South Africa. The cost of coming here is less, and what God is going to do into your lives, you shall be surprised. We can never limit the power of God. So once Avena Zambia come on board to this ministry, come and support this ministry, come and find solution in this ministry. God is here. Keep, Keep watching, watching Charis, Charis TV. TV. Mutuali ye ukutamba Charis TV. Jimmy Pempa Bonse Wakuzambia Mkazitamba Charis TV. That's where you find your solution.